Hey guys, this is Viewmasters Reactions, and this is going to be another one of those videos where it's like a universe. I don't think this is a time lapse one, but it's called How the Universe is Way Bigger Than You Think. My brother sent this one to me too. I find these extremely interesting. I didn't think people would find them very interesting. I don't know, like me and my brother are like kind of nerdy about space and science and science fiction, stuff like that. I'm not like the biggest book guy. Like I'm not a brainiac when it comes to actual theories and like the actual science behind it. But I love watching videos. I love, I mainly love science fiction. I love the whole idea of space travel and the, the possibility of aliens and stuff like that. The only reason I say that is there is like one or two people in the comments like, look at this noob, doesn't know what he's talking about. Guys, why do you think I'm reacting to it? Because I don't know what I'm talking about and I want to learn more. If I knew everything about it, why would I need to watch and react to it? I'd be like, oh, that I know this and I know this and I know this. What kind of reaction would that be? Is if I, what the worst kind of reaction would be is if I knew all of it and you guys just watch me like confirm everything. Like, I don't understand people that write comments like that. That'd be like me reacting to a show that I've seen already. What's the point? So the fact that I don't know a lot about this is a good reason to react to it. So I'm going to jump right into this one, guys. It's another one. It's got 13 million views in a year. And I did see one or two other people react to it. One of which is the Real Rejects, who are a big favorite of mine, reactors themselves for a while now. I've been watching them for years. I'm going to check it out myself. It's 10 minutes long. It is how the universe is way bigger than you think. Here we go, guys. This is Earth. You live here on this planet somewhere. Hi, Earth. Everything that you've ever known is located right here. But just how small exactly is Earth when compared to the scale of the entire universe? Like Let's I'm... start by zooming out to where we can see our nearest cosmic neighbor, the moon. I love moon. think that the moon is very close to Earth since it dominates our night skies. But in reality, the moon isn't this close to our planet. It's actually about this far away. <laughs> 384,400 oh, right now. That's nothing. Average. You could fit 30 entire Earths in between this distance, and if you somehow were able to drive a car at a constant 100 kilometers per hour speed, it would take you about 160 days to drive the... That's actually not as... That's not as bad as I would have thought, but still. However, 12 humans have actually set foot here, representing the furthest oh. away that any individual human has ever been away from the Earth, and one of humanity's greatest achievements. This is what the Earth would look like from there if you were standing there with them. And if you wanted to communicate with somebody back at home, it would take a message about two and a half seconds to travel between you and them since that's how fast the speed of light can travel at. Damn. This is a photo that was taken on Mars. And that tiny dot that you see there is Earth as seen from the Martian surface. <laughs> that's average, crazy. Mars is an incredible 225 million kilometers away from Earth, but that distance can be as high as 401 million kilometers. That means <laughs> That whenever what? It fluctuates? Around to landing a human on the planet, that person will be 986 times further away from Earth than the astronauts who landed on the moon were. In addition, the time delay for sending a message from Mars back to Earth isn't just two and a half seconds. It's actually more like 20 minutes each direction. Oh my which would God! Communication in the event of an emergency impossible. When we zoom out <laughs> even further away, we can find the Voyager 1 space probe, which is the furthest away man-made object from Earth. It is currently located 138 AUs from the Earth. AU meaning astronomical I've never heard unit, of that. which is the distance between the Earth and the Sun, which means that Voyager 1 is 138 times away from us than the Sun is. At some point... That's a cool... Den I never Voyager heard of that. One ...turned its camera around and took this photograph. AU, I never heard of that before. First, but in my opinion, this is the greatest single photograph ever taken in all of human history. This tiny, pale is blue the Earth? is Earth. And I don't think that anybody has ever said something as amazing about this as Carl Sagan when he said, If you look at it, you see a dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. That's crazy. It, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever lived, lived out their lives. The aggregate of all our joys and sufferings. Thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines. Every hunter and every forager. Every hero and coward. Every creator That's... and destroyer of civilizations. Every king and every peasant. Every young couple in love. Every hopeful child. Every mother and every father. Every inventor and explorer. Every teacher of morals. Every corrupt politician, 
every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there on a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. Voyager 1 is currently traveling at 17 kilometers that is every epic single speech. second, but even at that speed, it won't break out of the reach of our solar system for another 30,000 years. Once we go beyond the solar system, we arrive in our interstellar neighborhood. Here we shift to the light year unit of measurement, which is the distance that light travels in a full Earth year, or about 9.461 trillion kilometers. The star Proxima Centauri here is the closest other star to us other than our sun, but it's still 4.24 light years away from us. To put that into perspective, if it was heading in the right direction, it would still take Voyager 1 over 70,000 years to reach it. That's crazy. In other words, if you drove your car at 100 kilometers an hour like in our previous example to the moon, it would take over six times longer than the entire age of the <laughs> universe is just to finally get there, and it wouldn't even exist still when you arrived. When we zoom out even further, we can see That's the entire crazy. Milky Way galaxy, inside of which Earth is located right here. This yellow dot is the furthest extent of humanity's radio broadcast throughout history, which means that any possible aliens who That's live crazy. outside of this range are totally unaware of humanity's presence. It's complete silence outside of this yellow dot as far as we are currently aware, but the entire galaxy spans over 100,000 light years from end to end. There are over 100 billion stars and over 100 billion planets inside of our galaxy. But you have never seen the full glory of the Guardians galaxy. of the Galaxy. Because I've seen it. Percent of the stars that you can <laughs> see with the naked eye are limited to this small, tiny region right here. But even this massive galaxy. So like not even like one percent out there, zooming out even further. And we arrive at the local group of galaxies, a collection of 54 different galaxies that is about 10 million light years across. But zooming out even further, and we can see the Virgo supercluster, of which the local group here is just a tiny segment of. Each dot at is a galaxy. Other groups of galaxies, just like our own local group inside of here, and the distance oh my from one side God. to the other is a mind-numbing 110 million light years. How but do we even know this? Like, how do you figure that? That's what I don't get. I understand science and stuff, but how do you figure that? Enormous structure that is home to our galaxy as well as 100,000 other galaxies. The distance from one side to the other is 520 million light years, but from even there we can zoom out all the way to the entire observable universe and see that even the titanic Laniakea supercluster is just a tiny and insignificant part of everything. This is the observable universe, and it contains everything that we know of. It is home to at least two trillion different and individual galaxies, which together contain more stars than there are grains of sand on the entire Earth. This is blowing my mind, guys. The side of the observable universe is 46.5 billion light years, which means that the entire width is 93 billion light years across. What's perhaps even more interesting, however, is what actually lies beyond the observable universe. Keep in mind that the observable universe is all that we can currently see, and it's entirely possible that the rest of the universe outside of it is vastly larger and more fantastic than we can possibly ever imagine. We simply don't what know what else fuck? is out there, because the light from these incredibly distant places has not yet had enough time in the universe's history to reach us yet back on Earth. And the light from some places may never reach us at all. Because some parts of space very far away from Earth are expanding away from us faster than the speed of light, that means that the light from these places will never, in an infinite amount of time, reach Earth. Meaning that even if humanity is eternal and exists forever, there will still be an unknown number of places in the universe that we will never know about or ever see. So, it is very likely that as unbelievably enormous as it seems... Look at us in the middle there. ...just a tiny slice of what we can currently see of the entire universe. According to the theory of cosmic inflation that was proposed by Dr. Alan Guth, if it is assumed that cosmic inflation began at 10 to the negative 37th of a second after the Big Bang, and with the assumption that the size of the universe before inflation began was equal to its age times the speed of light... 
then this would seem to suggest that at the present day, the entire universe is 150 sextillion times larger than the observable universe. That number for reference looks like this, with this many zeros. <laughs> what? Let this number sink in for just a moment. This would be similar to you thinking that the entire observable universe, everything that you could see, was the size of a light bulb, but then realizing that in reality the entire universe is larger than the former planet of Pluto. Imagine a light bulb in the center of Pluto, but we inside the light bulb were totally unaware that Pluto existed outside of it, and that's a similar situation to this. We are all so unbelievably small, but you shouldn't worry, because all that means is that there is so much left out there for us to discover together. Gotta be other life. Very cool, guys. I love that kind of stuff. I get, like, so deep. I could literally have sat there and, like, listened to that guy for two hours. It's just mind-blowingly crazy information, and a lot of it doesn't make sense to me. If it is, like, a hundred trillion light years away, how do they know that? Like, if it takes that long to get there, how do they know that? Obviously, we can't get there. Like, none of that ever makes sense to me. I'm not an idiot. I consider myself a very smart person, but... You like can't tell me this is a 800 trillion years away and we would never even find it in our lifetimes. Then how the hell do you know that it's that far if we can never attain that? And how do you know it's that far? I don't know. Something about it is weird to me. I know there is deep, deep science into it, but I have been a laborer my whole life and I don't know the deep, deep science of it. I'm not mocking it or anything. I love this kind of stuff. It just makes I like just, it, I mean, most people probably it, it, like, how do you grasp that? If it's 800 trillion years away, how do we know it's 800 trillion years away? Like, like Jay, this is so far away. You, no one in the world could ever experience that ever because it is unattainable, but we know exactly how far away it is. How do you know how, how do you know exactly how far away it is? If it's unattainable, I don't know. Something about it is weird to me. I also just realized this entire time I had the love, death, and robots thing up here. So I'm going to put this little beauty up. This is what was supposed to be there, but now I can't react to the video again because that would be dishonest, and I am not dishonest. So there's the beautiful picture you guys were supposed to see. And to finish the reaction, I love it. This kind of stuff I find absolutely mind-blowing. Like, just sitting there listening to the guy where he's like, yeah, if you took a car, it'd take 160 days. All right, that's doable. Now, if you did this to this, it would take 160 trillion years. It's like, whoa, that just escalated quickly. Oh, my God. That is just craziness, guys. So I definitely dig these. Anyone has any more they could recommend to me, feel free to throw them out there. I just don't have the time to look for them in between, like, doing all this stuff. So many people recommend stuff to me. And this kind of stuff gets, like, shuttled to the top of the list because I really dig it. Whatever I dig, I put, like into my list. Eventually, I usually get to all the requests nonetheless. So you guys let me know what you think of this video. Comments down below. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.